Hi viewers, here we have Dr. Chandrasekhar, Chairperson, Department of Aerospace Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya, Pidam. If somebody comes to you and asks you, sir, what should I do after I complete my uh, aerospace engineering? Should I go in for higher studies? Or should I go in for placement? Or should I go in for starting a business of my own? Should I be an entrepreneur? So what would be, what would be your recommendations? I would, I would say go, go with what your heart says. Now, it's quite likely that a person is absolutely interested in higher studies. Then he should go in there, regardless of what happens. What you asked is a very common question, but a very complicated answer. Answer, absolutely. Because I cannot, I but, cannot yeah. say what you I want need, to do yeah, yeah. or what you need, but I can look at your academic performance and say that... The, you would fit into this. Maybe. Absolutely. Maybe, maybe, yes. Uh, but what generally happens, doctor? We are lo very lucky, in the, or uh, we should say I, I am very focused. 25 to 30 percent of our uh, students go for higher studies. Oh, wonderful. Do they go leave India and go abroad? And yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, this Many is a them. mixture. Mixture. mixture of that and oh. uh, what type of specialization in aerospace one can go in for like we know what oh. is in mechanical we know what is in civil but if you could just tell us these oh. are the specialization what See, can take up after I, aerospace I, I, uh, I can I can uh, enumerate that uh, we have uh, all over the world we have specializations like aerodynamics advanced aerodynamics and uh, advanced structures structures because uh, we talk in terms of structures which are not full, uh, fully full bodied, but uh, hollow kind of thing, because that is what Absolutely. is used in uh, aeroplanes and uh, uh, what you call thin walled structures. And uh, then we have uh, propulsion, okay. because all these together have to make that aircraft. In fact, if you ask me uh, very frankly, if there is any one example of uh, integration of all these technologies, it is the aeroplane. Yes. Because you, you name it and you have it. You have civil engineering, you have mechanical engineering, you have propulsion, you have anything. Everything, any, any, every, yeah, yeah. Every, it's all in the yeah. Everything is there. So, we do touch upon all these things in order to make the students, students. fully aware. So the question of entrepreneurship doesn't come with the aerospace, sir? Like no, the, no, no, no. It's it, not true. Can, can, can an aerospace engineer start his own? Uh, he, they he, can. We have examples of uh, 2013 and uh, 2019 graduates who have formed their own companies. Oh, very good. And uh, running them. Oh, fantastic. What type of uh, companies do they start? Uh, startup one, companies. One is in avionics, the other one is in <coughs> composites and composites. All oh, right. So the, there is also an ample opportunity to start your own. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh, business. Right. Yes. Very good.